Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a stock here that might potentially be trading at a very heavy buying opportunity in the stock market at the moment, and that stock is Nucor. And what Nucor basically does is they manufacture steel and steel products. They have operating facilities primarily located in North America, in the United States, and in Canada. And we can see right here from their website, it shows a little bit about what they do. But basically they produce carbon and alloy steel bars, beams, metal building systems, tubing, wires, things like that. And they're also America's largest recycler. And so right here we can see from their stock that they're actually beating out the rest of the market. They're up about 120% over the last five years, even though the market is only up about 60%. And over the last year, the S&P 500 is down 12%, but Nucor is actually up 10%. So anyone who's been invested in Nucor over the last year has definitely been beating out the market, so that's good to see. And so basically in this video, I'm going to go into their financial statements to look at the underlying financial health for the company. And then I'm also going to do a discounted cash flow analysis to figure out what the intrinsic value of Nucor is from a value investing perspective. And so basically right here, we see their financial statements and we can see that their revenue increased pretty substantially over the last year from about $8.7 billion to $11.7 billion. So there's been some heavy revenue growth here over the last year, up about 34% year over year. And we can also see their net income has increased even more so. So basically what that tells us is that their revenue has increased while their cost of revenues haven't really increased at the same rate as their revenues have, which has obviously led to an even greater increase in their net income. It increased from about $1.5 billion to $2.56 billion. So that's an increase of about 70% year over year, which is massive growth for Nucor over the last year. And we can also see from their net earnings per share that their earnings per share increased year over year from about $5 per share to almost $10 per share. So almost an increase of about 100% year over year. And so if I scroll down here to their balance sheet, we can see that their total assets increased from about 25 billion to about 31.6 billion in the second quarter of 2022. That's what they ended at. And we can also see that the majority of their business is financed by equity as opposed to liabilities. And their equity has increased pretty substantially from 14 billion to 17 billion. And that's primarily come from an increase in retained earnings, which is a good sign because it means that their company isn't getting diluted by issuing new shares and raising money from new partners. They're just growing their business from the cash flows for the business. And then we can see right here from their consolidated statement of cash flows that their cash provided by operating activities increased from about 1.8 billion in the first half of 2021 to about 4.7 billion in the first half of 2022. So that's pretty massive growth as well. They invested about $4.5 billion in the first half of 2022. And then they've also used about $614 million in the first half of 2022. And we can see that that came primarily from acquisition of treasury stock of about 1.7 billion and they also have cash dividends over here as well of about 270 million dollars so they're returning a lot of value back to their shareholders right here and so now if we look at the discounted cash flow analysis that i did for nucor here <clears throat> we can see that yahoo finance is basically estimating that nucor is going to grow at a rate of about 40.37 percent per year and i actually have their page open right here and we can see for nucor that Right here, Yahoo Finance is estimating it's going to grow at 40.37% per year. We can also see that they point out that over the last five years, Nucor has been growing at about 43% per year. So estimating that for the next five years, they're going to grow at 40% might not be as much of a long shot as it initially might seem. And so for the next five years after that, I was conservative as I usually am. And I just estimated that they would grow at 20% per year as opposed to 40%. They had about $4.61 billion of free cash flow in 2021. They have a net debt position after subtracting their cash from their debt of about $5.17 billion worth of debt. And they also have about 261 million shares outstanding. And so after taking these metrics into account, we can see the intrinsic value per share for Nucor based on these estimates and this growth rate, of course, is estimated to be about $1,000 per share with a 50% margin of safety of $526 per share, which obviously compared to their current share price means that Nucor is potentially trading at, like I said at the start of the video, a very heavy buying opportunity. They're not only trading at less than a 50% margin of safety, but they're trading close to about a 90% margin of safety if this intrinsic value per share is correct. And so basically, you know, I don't know if 
the estimated growth rate for Nucor based on Yahoo Finance's estimates is accurate. But if it's true that they have grown at about 40% over the last five years, it might not be as far of a long shot to say that they'll continue to grow at that rate over the next five years. And so right here on the right side, I did a competitor analysis as well, just to see where Nucor stands against their competition in the steel industry. And we can see that their two main competitors are Steel Dynamics and US Steel. And compared to these two companies, it looks like based on some of the financial metrics from their statements, that Nucor is actually beating out their competition in some of their margins and business efficiency. We can see they have a 30% gross profit margin that's higher than both of the other two companies that they're competing with. And then they're around middle of the pack with their net profit margin of about 18%, and they have the highest return on assets out of the three companies. So they're obviously using their assets in a very efficient manner to produce net income for their business. And it seems like they're doing it the best out of everyone in their industry. So based on this, it looks like Nucor could potentially present a good buying opportunity from a competitor standpoint and also from an intrinsic value standpoint. And then on top of that, we saw that compared to the rest of the market, Nucor is currently beating out the market. Market is down 12%, but Nucor is up 10% over the last year. So this is definitely a stock that interested me. So I'm probably going to be keeping my eye on it. Don't know if I'll be investing in it or not, but definitely let me know if any of you guys are going to be investing in Nucor or what you guys think about this opportunity, if it's a red flag or if it could actually be a good stock to keep an eye on. Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everyone in the next one.